So I'm just sitting here reliving some old memories of a previous settlement day when we first moved into this house. <laughs> so Is this your room? Yes, Harry's. And Harry's. So I'm sitting in the driveway of our new house and I'm waiting for Adam to get here. He's actually got the keys. Um, so everything went smoothly with the settlement between the lawyers and the lawyer called me and the agent called Adam and I was at my bubble study group. So Adam went and got the keys. And yeah, so um, my car's absolutely truck is full of boxes and I've got some food. We're going to have a picnic on the floor in our new house. I'm at the real estate and I'm just going to go inside and get the key. And here we are. They gave us a present, some nice food and stuff. And there's the keys. So, yes, and apparently Adam's got like a big hamper that the agent gave him as well. So, I'm just waiting for him to get here. Hopefully he hasn't got lost. I'm sure he knows how to get here. So, yes, it's really exciting and... At the same time, it's a bit scary. <laughs> Yay, the keys and my husband. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. This is where I feel me. <laughs> we can both feel each other kissing. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, we got goodies. We got goodies when we moved into our last house too. So there's and a pen, and a pen, some Red Kelly's. That's a very Tasmanian brand of. They make all sorts of sauces and dressings and nice stuff like that. Tasmanian wine. Tasmanian crisp bread. Tasmanian stuff. Woo! I'm pretty bad with keys. <laughs> this will be fun. So well, I'm assuming it's this one over here, is it? Yep. That's why I take it. Oh, there you go. At least we're not secure. Alright. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> and then it can do it. Woohoo! We're in, we're in, we're in! <laughs> Welcome to our home. This is the hallway. Yay. And you'll find to your left the lounge room. Complete with really low light so Adam's gonna crash his head on. <laughs> and it has two doors. It does. So you can kind of have an indoor and an outdoor. So one to the hallway and one through to the dining room. Here's the kitchen. So check out all this cupboard space. They just keep going and going. And there's, there's little cupboards under the oven. And then above the oven. And this is like a, a standing height oven. So you don't have to bend down. We've always had like on the floor ovens before. 
in separate hot plates over here. And check this out. It's a walk-in pantry. We have never had a walk-in pantry before. But we're going to be able to fit so much food in here. And we have our toaster, our slow cooker, and all that kind of stuff in here so it's not clogging up the benches. Oh, and we've got laundry here. This is actually pretty roomy. So we're going to have our washing machine and our dryer here. Alright, do you want to keep showing us around, love? Um, so you see the pantry? Somewhere to hang tea towels. Cool. Bang for Enda. Gonna get like some chairs on a table and sit out here. So, this is it. This is our backyard. Chloe <laughs> is over there in the orange windowed classroom. Yep, that's that's her building. Alright, that Adam's gonna take his head out on. Because I'll find it. Peter. <laughs> a little alcove bit. And then we've got main bedroom. Tons of PowerPoints. Which is good. They're everywhere. We had a real shortage of PowerPoints in the bedroom in our old house. This has a view of Yeah, so what's that bedroom view like? Church, That's cool. You can, you can see Riverbank Church, which is just over there. And you can see the Tame River. Mm -hmm. So... This is the wardrobe. We've got a lot of wardrobe space. Now this is the other big thing. This is... There's a door from our bedroom. En suite. An en suite. There's a toilet. We've never had an en suite before. Tiny tiny sink, but it's a sink. And a shower. So, a house with two showers, hey babe? And two almost teenagers, so... Yeah, they'll be coming handy. The bathroom. So this is an interesting little thing, so... So this is the, like, hand wash area. And then there's the toilet. Oh, and look what the look what the departing people did for us. They they folded the toilet paper into a little triangle like in a fancy hotel. <laughs> and then this is the bath and shower area. So the bathroom. So this is probably where the pussy cats will get locked with their litter boxes tomorrow. Oh, and there's and lots of cupboard space down there too. Um, this is Harrison's room, so he's got a nice big built-in as well, yeah. and a wardrobe. So he's got a lot of wardrobe space too, so he's got this chest of drawers with like cubes in them for all his clothes. We reckon that can just be for toys and stuff, because, uh -huh. so he's got a nice little view at his window of trees. Some, some trees, or shrubs, or whatever they're called. And he's got no shortage of PowerPoints either. Yeah, it's a um, and this is Miss Chloe's room, which is probably about the same size as our room, just not with a bathroom. Um, and so she has a view of the road. Yep. So she'll be able to see when we'll get home from work and stuff. And her wardrobes a little bit smaller, however... She has a wardrobe on the bottom of her bed. Yeah, she got like his bunk bed where it's a bed on so, top and a desk underneath. This is actually quite and wardrobe. Not bad and yeah. something we'll That could be like for shoes, that little thing. Yeah. She said she wanted a place for shoes. Oh, and look at the old <laughs> light shades. Cool. So everything in this house is older, but it's very well taken care oh, of. It's very well taken care of. Um, this carpet is old. but you It's shag pile it. carpet from probably the yeah. 70s, but it's in really good condition. Time for the garage. So, as you can see, this is all sealed in here with plaster walls. So, this is basically a room. So, this is going to be my office. So, I'm going to have a desk here with my computer. There's heaps of storage there and a, like a stand. In fact, this is almost a stand-up desk. The all important NBN equipment. <laughs> so, my computer is going to be right next to the Wi Fi. So, oh, it's, oh, it's a, a basketball. Maybe they remember now, that. <laughs> we reckon the previous owner must have been a nurse because <laughs> there's all this cool stuff here, which Linda got a big kick out of. So, no entry, CT scanner in use. And <laughs> we've got like a fire alarm, break the glass. <laughs> so, that's pretty funny. And there's a dartboard. 
and a blackboard for keeping score. So, oh, and I don't know if I have. Yeah, so we could, we could actually it? play the game. Now, what I'm thinking is that I'm going to paint a segment of wall in here green, which can serve as a green screen for filming. Pretty cool. And there's, there'll be room in here for Linda's sewing stuff as well. So it's not just a man cave. We're going to call it the Fortress of Solitude, I think. Geek points if you know what that's referencing to. So it's almost the end of school for the day. So I'm going to walk and get the kids and bring them back to the new house and see what they think. And here they come. Chloe's running. Harry's kind of trying to run, but... His heart's just not in it. <laughs> just picked the kids up from school and we're walking home. And they're very excited. They just saw Adam come up the driveway. Hello, Chloe. Hi. Welcome home. Does that sound weird? Welcome home, Harry. This is a home. Yes, it is. It is now. Our friend Nevi gave us these flowers the other day. They were decoration at her daughter's birthday party. And she thought they'd be nice around your house. And they go very well, don't they, darling? Mm -hmm. And look, we've even put our first lot of clothes on the line. And these, of course, are the roses I got Linda for our anniversary yesterday. 